Welcome to GTM Education and today we're going to look at how to use Corbett Maths of the Seneca to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths. So the first thing that you need to know about is the secret tips on how to use Corbett Maths to get grade 9 and when it comes to Corbett Maths it is something that is accessible to all students. Everyone has access to it, everyone can access it for free but the difference is how you use Corbett Maths and that's the difference between the grade 9 students, the grade 5 students and so on. So it's dependent on how you use Corbett Maths to get a grade 9 and I believe the method that I teach you, the secret method that not a lot of students know about to get a grade 9 using Corbett Maths is something that I'm going to reveal in this video. So I would urge you to continue watching till the end of this video and make sure you listen carefully and as I stated at the start, make sure you take notes, listen carefully and take this advice quickly and act upon it quickly so that you'll be ahead of the other students. So in terms of the first step is the fact that after you finish the Seneca quiz you have to copy and paste the title of the topic. So we will do a demonstration in um, after this um, explanation in this PowerPoint and I'll show you guys how what I mean how I want you guys to do things and how to take up advice and get that grade 9 and be closer to getting that grade 9 in your GCSE maths. So after you finish the Seneca quiz you have to copy and paste the title and as I mentioned this is related to Seneca so if you haven't watched the video um, regarding Seneca then you should check out the previous video or I'll leave the um, card at the top of the screen or you can check in the description video in the description for the videos with the links um, regarding to which topic. So I would urge you to watch that video I think a lot of you guys will enjoy that first then using this will be the most important things and no point skipping because at the end of the day it will be your loss. So you have to copy and paste the title of a topic from Seneca or whatever topic you just finished learning I would urge you to copy that topic or if you take a break halfway through you finish the Seneca quiz you finish the whole section of a not like a whole section but one topic after you finish it you can take it some time have a have a break and then you come back to using Corbett Maths and that's when you um, copy and paste the Seneca quiz so you have to add Corbett Maths at the end while searching in the search bar and I'll show this all in a demonstration very shortly but you have to add the let uh, the words Corbett Maths so that Google will know that you have to go to Corbett Maths and it will show the topic from the Corbett Maths website and it will save you hassle from trying to find the topic so if you don't do this then it may be difficult to find the topic, um, there will be other ways I can teach you guys to find the topic that you're looking for, sometimes it might not be 100% um, sure that it will show the right topic that you search in the Corbett Maths after you type the copy and paste the types of the topic and you add Corbett Maths into the search bar as well next to it. So don't worry, I will teach you guys how to do this, I'll show a demonstration so do not worry. But when you go into um, Corbett Maths, you will have to watch the video and watch it carefully. And that's something that I urge you guys to do. But I'm going to show what explain these guys in the demonstration, so do not worry about this. So there will be a Corbett Maths video. If you guys are familiar with Corbett Maths, you will know what this is. There's normally a video to watch. There's normally some questions to do. And that's speaking of questions, there is um, exam worksheet, which I recommend you guys do. And you do the questions of the exam worksheet. And there will be a lot of things um, that I'm going to express to you guys in the demonstration video which will be shortly presented in a few moments but I would urge you to take notes of these things I wouldn't what as you're watching this presentation you might have an opportunity to write this down on your um, notes or in your book because that's why I first put this presentation slide first before I show the demonstration because the key points are here so it's something that you can follow as a routine and if you guys haven't checked out my previous videos such as the mentality video uh, one of the first videos that I've uh, released on this channel it's that secret mentality that you must have and one of those key aspects of repetition one of those key aspects of practice is very very important so I would urge you guys to watch that video if you haven't I put a, um, a card at the top of the screen and you can also check out um, the description and the other videos from the channel should be there as well. Do not worry, you have a great, great opportunity to get a great grade 9 and a great, great chance to get a grade 9 as well if you follow the steps that I tell you. And the one important step is the fact that even if you're stuck on a question, you still have to do the question. That's something that I'm going to express as we show the demonstration shortly. But this is a very, very important thing. Um, when you're stuck in a question, you still have to do the questions. You have to assume it as if it is the final day. It's your final exam. You have no more chance to, to look at the um, revision, nothing else. It's your final chance. And there's a lot of 
guys that I've seen, a lot of students that I've seen, a lot of people that I've tutored in the past have um, struggled when it comes to when they're stuck on a question, you still do the question. A lot of you guys skip the questions and I'm going to teach you guys in the next video how to use exam papers to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths um, in another video, in a separate video. But this is an important thing, even if you're stuck on a question, you still have to do the questions and then you go to the answers and mark it. These are basically the few steps that I recommend you guys to do when using corporate maths. I've literally um, put this nicely for you guys in um, one presentation and just for the few points so that you guys can literally copy and paste this. Um, or maybe in the future I could be um, providing the slides that I use, um, that I made, I use and I'll provide to you guys if you would like. But that's something that I'll work on. Maybe that I might maybe be in the video shortly. I just have to do some um, work on that and then I'll um, get some links accessible for you guys so make sure you guys remind me if I forget to do that anytime soon and when it comes to these steps these are steps that I recommend you guys must do and that's something that I believe will help you get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths and now we'll transition to the screen recording where I show you guys exactly what I'm going to do showing from top to bottom I mean from bottom to top showing exactly what I tell you guys to do so as you guys can tell now, we have now transitioned from the presentation to the websites of Seneca. We're right now in the home dashboard and this is where we are currently. So this is where I'm going to show you. If I click this or if you go to um, the accounts, you can find it at the top of the screen. You go to home and since we're looking at the maths, um, in particular, we're looking at GCSE maths. So we're going to go to the recent courses. So we go over here. So as you can see, we go over here. And then we look at the courses that we have done. So we can check which courses, say, say you just finished a topic. So say I just finished a topic, as you can see over here, it shows highlights that the little point over here suggests that we have done, completed some parts of this. And you can see there's a, an indication over here that would suggest that we have completed a topic. And this is the topic we have completed, straight line graphs. And it suggests that we haven't got 100% in terms of answering all the questions, but at least we are very close. At least we have this in our memory. We can go here to check assignments. We can go here to check wrong answers. And over here, we got this to learn smarter. So it's, I've explained all of this, how to use Seneca, everything in a previous video in another video. And if you would like, I'll put that on your screen. It could be the previous video where I teach you guys how to use Seneca. So make sure you use that because there are some very, very important steps that I recommend you guys using in that um, video. Um, it's a very long video, but as I mentioned, you can put this on times two speed. It should be done in half the time as long as you get gather the information that's what's more important the videos are long on purpose because i explained you everything to the bare bones so that it goes very very good for your learning and that's something that i like to do to a very large extent to express it very very to the simplest stage because a lot of you guys i experienced it in my past as well when i was learning for my gcse's a lot of teachers do everything the simple way but it doesn't come to help you when you do your a levels it doesn't help you when you go to university so it's very very important to learn everything the proper way so that it'll help you in the future that's what i like to do so that's my explanation of seneca if you need to check that video out that will be on your screen somewhere um, and it will be in the description as well please do check that video out so since we've done this straight line graphs as you can see it's very simple to see if you've done a topic so you can um, check from um, a topic say you finished a topic and if you watch that Seneca video, we know that we finished the straight line graphs video. And as you can see over here, this is a straight line graphs um, video over here, um, a lesson that we finished. We can go to this lesson, 2.4.1. So when it comes to this lesson, you can see it's 2.4.1 straight line graphs. And this is a topic that we've done. And so now we're looking at how to use Corbett Maths to get a grade 9 in GCC Maths. And that's after using Seneca. So now what we do, after we finish the straight line graph, since this is pretty easy for you guys, um, the methods they do this, it's not like um, you're physically writing anything, it's not like you're doing it like it's an exam. So this is where I recommend you guys to get that Corbett Maths um, website. After you watched, after you done a particular task from Seneca, a particular topic, you now go to Corbett Maths. I'll show you guys what exactly I would do. So you go to Google, so there we go to um, Google. So we go to Google and we can see that um, we type in the word Corbett Maths. So this is pretty easy. You type in the word Corbett Maths and we go to the um, website. So this is the website over here, um, Corbett Maths. This is something that I recommend you guys to watch. There's a lot of things if you want me to do, I can do separate videos of what I recommend for you guys to do in each particular topic. But this isn't the way I do not want you guys to do it. This is the Corbett Maths website, but I would urge you guys to go back and do what I told you guys to do, which is copy and paste the um, topic that we just done. So you just done straight line graphs. 
So you go to um, Google and then you type in the word. You type in the word straight line graph. So you can just copy and paste this. So you can just do um, straight line graph. And as you can see, it's, it's one of the search results itself. It's straight line graph, school with math, straight line math, straight line graph, math genie so on so forth but we can go straight to straight line graphs and um, Colbert maps so we go here and as you can see over here you got some important things there and what i recommend you guys doing is look carefully over here this is the practice questions which are the exam questions these are textbook exercises so these two are two different things um there's an equation of a line this is what we're looking at and we're looking at um straight line graphs so we're looking at linear graphs um so straight line graphs in particular so we can go to this thing over here this is the um, website which shows you um all three of the things so instead of going to the practice question, instead of going to the textbook exercise, and instead of going to another topic for another exercise, you go to the one that just has the title and says Colbert Maths. So you go to this part, so you click this. When you go to Colbert Maths, this is what happens. You get uh, questions like this. Um, this is not exactly what I'm looking for. So we go back, and if you want to watch the video, it's on video 186. So you can remember these things. So let's go backwards. Let's go back one more time. And if you're going to look at drawing, this is the good one because this is where I can explain to you guys um, where if you can't find a topic, what you're meant to do. You've got straight line graphs here and you've got Colbert math. But what we're going to do over here now is try to find the topic. So we t look for straight line graphs. Um, sometimes you can uh, see that it doesn't um, always work. So the straight line graph is not working here. But the different sim similarity is the fact that it says linear graph. So we can go to type in linear graphs, Colbert maths, um, drawing linear graphs drawing linear graphs so let's go to this practice questions at the top so this is one um certain particular way we can do is a click for questions click for answers but another way is to just go to the welcome tab you can go to videos and worksheets and if you guys remember from here you can if you cannot find it you can just go and click um control 5 or command 5 which i'm using right now you can type in a particular thing let's type in um the, what we're looking at we're looking at straight line graphs there's only one watch here, so let's go back and type in um, straight line graphs. Yep, so we've got line graphs here. Uh, that's one match perfectly. So we can now go to the particular topics in video 160 and video um, practice questions as well. This is exactly what you want you guys to do. So we first watch the video. You go to the video, it's pretty simple. You go here and it's from the Colbert Maths web, um, YouTube channel itself. There's one video here, watch this and make notes. Listen to what he's saying, learn from what he's saying and make sure you utilize this to the to the most of your abilities. I think this and this are the same thing. Um, it's the same video again, but one's on YouTube and one's um, on the um, website itself. But make sure you just click both and then check they're both the same video and just watch one of those videos and make notes. I recommend you guys do that. Um, if you guys want me to do particular topic videos, um, that's something that I might do in the future. Let's see. Um, if I've heard a lot of you guys do like my, the way I teach topics. I do tutor students. It might be something where I could offer you guys uh, some form of tutoring, um, something that I may discuss in the future as let's see how these videos do in terms of what you guys think about it and then we might take some steps forward in terms of the channel, in terms of making sure that you guys get a great nine in GCSE Maths. So in terms of line graphs, um, this is a video. So I urge you to first watch this video. So you can watch this video. I do not want to get copyright claims, so you can just watch the video. It's very good. He's explaining everything to a very large extent. He's someone that is very capable of doing this. Um, he's a very good teacher, and I do like his lessons. He explains this in an easy format for you guys to learn. He puts an exam question there for you to see how to do these things, but it should be very useful since you got the knowledge from the center so since you learned from Seneca, which is saying the score that we got was 83%, so your memory strength is there, but you get increased your memory by watching the video as well, and that's specifically tailored towards exam questions. Now when we go to the back to the home page, so you can go here and you can go backwards if you can click back, or you can just click the close tab and you should see this tab over here for videos and worksheets for Colbert Maths. So in terms of videos and worksheets for Colbert Maths, what we are looking at is line graphs, and then we can go exactly to the practice questions. And this is basically the exam questions. These are two different things. So this is practice questions. Um, this is where it says exam style questions. This is what I want you guys to do. This is the more important thing. This is a particular thing that we're looking at in particular. So I can go uh, scroll this out a little bit. These are good questions. It's not a lot of time. It's only five questions. I shouldn't take a lot of time. Five questions for a particular topic is a good amount of time to spend. I'm not telling you guys to spend six hours on this. No, I'm just telling you guys to just do this exam style questions paper so let's go back 
There's a difference between the textbook exercise and the, um, you can see this looks like a textbook for you guys. You can see the way the questions are scattered around. Um, you can see um, the way things are shown. So it shows there's a difference in um, the way you do these. So that's very, very important. If we go back, and let's go back to the practice questions. So this is the practice questions, which is what I want you, want you guys to do. It's exam style questions. This is very, very important. Yakuba Maths here is a very nice uh, way of putting an alpha sign in the word corporate maths itself. But when it comes to the exam style questions, I want you guys to do this properly. As you've seen in the presentation, I want you guys to answer every single question. A lot of you guys do not, when you don't know a question, you don't answer it. That's a very, very bad thing. Make sure you answer the questions. That's very, very important. Make the most out of it. Imagine, treat this as your final exam. And I will tell you guys in the next video how to use exam papers to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths. But um, it's very, very important to answer every single question, even if it's difficult. It's something that I would urge you guys to print if you guys have a printer or you can use your school library. There should be an opportunity to print papers um, and the school should allow you to do that. So do ask them. So there's an opportunity to do good questions. These are exam style questions. So make the most out of it and get the opportunity to learn and get the most out of it and use these as a way to continue learning, continue thriving and getting a grade nine in GCC Maths. So this is how I urge you guys to do Corbett Maths. Um, very simple, as you go back, I'll do a quick recap. So you go to Seneca, very simple. Um, go to Seneca Learning. Um, so we we go home. We can go to the home tab. You can click this, or you can click this to go to the home tab. And if you go to the home tab, we go to the course that we're doing. So the maths course in particular, since we're looking at how to get grade nine in GCSE maths. So we look at the topics we've done. You can see from here that the last topic we've done is the straight line graphs. So we go to the straight line graphs thing. Then we go to the straight line graphs and we click Command C, or we can do this copy like this as well. So you go there and then. You go to the opportunity to look at how to um, go to Google. So this is how you guys do. Go to Google. Go to Google. You can see there's something very good um, animation going on there. But you type in, you copy and paste this. I don't know, do, do it for you guys. Let's click copy, paste like that. And the first search that comes is Corbett Maps. That's how highly recommend it is. Um, I think most teachers express you guys to use Corbett Maps to make the most out of it. And a lot of tutors I've seen when I've gone to other tutors, um, seen what they're doing, they use Corbett Maps a lot. It's a very, very good tool. So you go to straight line graphs and Corbett Maps. So this is how your uh, website looks like. So it's very important to find um, the ones that you guys are doing. So you're going to get straight line graphs, Corbett Maps. This is drawing linear graphs. So it's not exactly what we're looking at. But if we, if we were to look at drawing line linear graphs, if there was a particular topic in Seneca um, for drawing linear graphs, there should be, such as if you look at common graphs, if you look at the, if you have a, a deeper dive, it could be under the section straight line graphs too. And in that section, we will look at how to um, draw a linear graph and there's exam questions in here as well. So make sure you do each topic after topic. Even if you use the exam style questions for straight line graphs, do not worry about doing another set of work. Just do a topic and make sure you do the, so even if you do the exam style questions, if you were to look at Seneca and go to the exam, these are exam style, style questions. These are different sorts of questions. They're asking you a little bit easier. So these are like your proper questions. So if you um, continue and it, it tells you guys what to do, basically it says what you guys to do. It tells you to write the equation of the line. So it gives you a lot of assistance. I don't want you guys to do that. Even though this is a good tool, I would like you to take it as if it's a real exam. And that's why I would urge you to use Corbett Maths. So we go to straight line graphs, Corbett Maths, copy and paste it, go to straight line maths, graphs, Corbett Maths, and you can go to the video. I urge you guys to go to the video so we can go to finding the equation of a straight line graph, um, straight line video. So you can click the video and then you can watch the video and there should be a worksheet for you guys to attend. Or you can go the easier way, which is another way which I recommend is just type in Corbett Maths, Corbett, um, Corbett Maths. Then you go to the website, go to videos, worksheets and thing. So you go to videos and worksheets, go all the way down, try to find your um, particular um, particular topic. So what we're looking at is straight line graphs. So um, we're going to look at um, straight line graphs. We're going to type in straight line graphs. But since this is an angles topic, we're not looking at a straight line in angles. And we're looking at 180 degree angles. We're not looking at that. We're looking at um, line graphs. So you can just type in line graphs. We go to this particular thing. And we know that this is the segment where we should look at. There's video 160. I urge you to watch the video first. Watch the video, make the most out of it, then and go back, then watch the practice questions. And this is more important than the textbook questions. You can do that another time if you want to do the extra work.
but this is a more important thing and I urge you guys to do the exam style questions and make sure you do all the questions properly that's what I urge you guys to do and make the most out of this exam paper and make sure you answer all the questions as you can tell guys i was losing my voice at the very um, end as i was just talking so i just wanted to re-record this part and say my points so as i said use this um exam papers efficiently answer all the questions do not skip any questions that's very very important and i'm going to tell you guys how to use this exam paper how to use exam papers properly in another video exactly what i tell you guys to do but simple do the questions and mark them but if you want to check out the next video which i um, do like a um, intro to it um, straight after this um, make sure you guys do this properly and get that um, efficiency going and effectively use Corbett Maths after you used Seneca so if you enjoyed this video you also enjoy the video on your screen as well and that video is how to use exam papers to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths and this is something that I just mentioned in the Pre in this video right now in terms of using Corbett Maths but I'm going to teach you guys the secret tricks, the tips and tricks to get a grade 9 in GCC Maths and how to use exam papers effectively. That's a key keyword, everyone can use exam papers, everyone has access to those, your teachers has access to those, you can get this anywhere but it's how you use these exam papers to get a grade 9 in GCC Maths and that's something that I urge you guys to a very very large extent. So I will teach you guys the tips and tricks on how to do that but if you enjoyed this video make sure you check out the video on the screen on how to use exam papers to get a grade 9 in GCSE maths and if you want to check out any other video out it should be in the description or you can go and check out my channel and the videos are there for you guys to use so thank you for watching